Hey guys, happy Black Friday. First note, I have a sale on my courses. They're 40% off, so if you're interested, check out the link in the description below. On a side note, I'm interested to find out what you guys have bought or are planning to buy this weekend. So let me know that in the comment section below. And if you wanna find out what I've bought so far, stick around to the end of the video. Okay, first up, code challenge. I'm happy to report that I received several submissions for last week's code challenge, so thank you for that. I've posted my solution for that challenge and you can find that in the description below as well. Now I formalized the code challenge a little bit. So number one, each Friday I'm going to be posting the details of the code challenge, how to submit it, uh, what the requirements are in this link. And you can find that link in the description below as well. And then number two, every week I will also post my solution for that challenge. Now I wanna warn you that the solution that I post is not the only solution because there are always tons of solutions out there and also it may not be the best solution so you guys might even come up with better solutions than me uh, but it might be interesting you know to compare so number three all of the people who complete the code challenge each week will earn a limited edition badge that you can only get that week for that challenge I'm gonna have a wall of fame listing all of the badges and the people who have earned them now you might ask why do I want these badges Thank you for asking. Aside from appealing to the collector and everyone, your badges are gonna earn you special perks and privileges that I am going to reveal in next week's video. Uh, there's a little hint, it may involve gifts or money, possibly. Find out in next week's video. All right, so I know some of you guys may be grumbling because last week I never mentioned anything about uh, rewards, badges, money, nothing like that. So I am extending last week's challenge to next Friday. So this upcoming week, you can complete the challenge from last week and this week's challenge as well and earn the badges for both of them. So I hope you take advantage of that. All right, so this week's challenge. This week, you're gonna be working with code. I want you to write a function that takes in a string and it checks that string for either lowercase or uppercase a's and it returns an integer. It either returns zero for no a's in that string or it returns the total count of lowercase and capital uh, uppercase a's <laughs> in that string. You'll find all of the particulars, specifics, requirements, uh, even some sample input in the weekly challenge thread, which you can find in that link. Uh, there's also a Reddit thread, which I've created for that challenge, where you can discuss with other people who are working on it and get some help if you're stuck or something like that. So there's is that available. All right, so that is it for the challenge. Next up, we have the Q&A segment. Now, we only got one question this week, so I highly encourage you guys to submit questions for next Friday's video, where I'll do the Q&A again. And you can ask me any questions like personal, business, you know, anything you wanna know about me, uh, my life, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, technical questions. I just want this to be fun and a way to engage with you guys. All right, so this week's question from Dave Knowles on Twitter. What Mac are you using? It seems so much quicker to start the simulator than my brand new Mac. Any tricks to speed it up? So to answer your question, uh, the videos that you see, I actually edit out the loading time of the simulators because I don't want people waiting around for the simulator to load. So what you might be seeing is that, and you might think mine's instantaneous when it really isn't. But to answer your question, I'm using a Retina 5K iMac. It's a 27 inch, but I upgraded the RAM to 32 gigs of RAM and it's got an SSD hard drive, I believe. There was one viewer who had four gigs of RAM on their MacBook and they were experiencing slow uh, simulator load times. When they upgraded their RAM to 16 gigs, they experienced significant improvements. So I would try upgrading the RAM as kind of like the cheapest solution first. And if that doesn't work, then you can see if there is a deeper problem than that. So that's it for the Q&A this week. I highly encourage you guys to submit your questions for the q and I'm gonna do next Friday. And remember, it doesn't have to be technical questions. It could be personal, uh, you know, within reason. <laughs> it could be about my background, about my experiences, about business, whatever. Okay, so in the last bit of news, we have a shiny new subreddit. You can find it in this link below. Come hang out, share what you're working on, uh, share what you're having trouble with. If you're having trouble with one of my tutorials, post it there as well. Uh, I can find it sometimes hard to write code in the YouTube comments, so I want the subreddit just to be a place where we can all hang out, get to know each other, uh, interact with other fans of Code with Chris. And yeah, I hope to see a lot of you guys on the subreddit. 
All right, so that's it for this week's video. Before I show you guys what I picked up for Black Friday, there's one Black Friday deal that I wanna mention. And this has to do with all of the motion graphics that you see in my videos, all of the icons and the thumbnails of my videos, and even in my blog articles, I use this everywhere. Uh, and this is a deal by icons8.com. So this site basically provides icons for all of your icon needs. And if you, they don't have the icon that you need, they'll make it for you. So I use this stuff everywhere. You'll see on my website, like I mentioned, and videos and apps and stuff like that. So I have a subscription. I pay $199 for it per year. And my current subscription lasts till the end of June, 2018. But they released a deal that's only valid for this weekend. It's $99 a year, so that's 50% off. I bought it anyways, even though I have another seven months left in my subscription. And so that's basically wasted. But I wanted this lifetime uh, deal of $99 per year. So that's why I wanted to mention it to you guys. If you guys want to build apps, Icons 8 has all of the icons you could need. So go check that out in the link in the description below. Now I want to mention that this is an affiliate link, so I do get a kickback for it. Um, and if you purchase it through my link, I thank you sincerely for supporting me and the channel. I've been using them for almost a year and I have nothing but good things to say about them. All right, so that's that. Let me show you what I bought for Black Friday. So I was waiting to pick up these guys, the Apple AirPods. I really like them. Unfortunately, they didn't go on sale for Black Friday, so I had to buy them full price, but I was waiting for a long time and I couldn't wait any longer. I also bought a Chromecast. I actually have an Apple TV, but I wanted to try out the Chromecast. I picked up the Google Home Mini because the HomePod isn't out yet and I wanted to try this guy out. I kind of regret it now because it doesn't work with my Apple Music subscription. There are some rooms in my house that my wife I can't reach, so this has actually solved that problem. So highly recommended. Quite expensive though, kind of pricey. So that's what I've got so far. Share with me what you guys have picked up or are planning to pick up in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.